So hi from JSpirit 2018, the Java Unconference in the Bavarian Alps. And we have a new guest, Dimitri. Uh, hi. So hi. And yeah, how do you how do you enjoy the Unconference? So as far as I know, you al attend a lot of Unconferences. At least mostly when I see you, it's at the Java <laughs> Unconference. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> we meet each other mostly at Unconference. Mostly, Sometimes yeah. at, this, uh, at the conferences, but uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's it's stood up to the name it's it's it is unconferent as it as it as it, as it goes it's very unorganized very very li uh, liberal and, and and open in a way how, how people interact and it's small it's first event uh, so we have like four 15 14 people like uh, a little bit more 17 like 20, 20, uh, 20 close to close to 20 yeah it's just because uh, but the location is absolutely awesome how you can see from from the uh, from the barrels and stuff and it's Top-notch location, Bavaria, lots of beer, right? Um, lots of spirits. <laughs> yeah, lots of people, lots of new people to to meet, uh, mostly from the local scene, but uh, some old friends from from the past, J Cretans. A couple of J Cretans here as well. So right, right. Um, so uh, maybe for folks who don't know about an unconference format, so could you briefly, maybe in one or two sentences, explain roughly what an unconference is about, maybe as opposed to a conference, and what's your personal like favorite experience or favorite thing at an unconference? Like, why do you attend okay. so many? So unconference is, it's not like defined, um, like throwing away the rules or something. It is, uh, an un we call unconference uh, something that follows the open open spaces format, mm -hmm. which is uh, uh, basically a way uh, you invite people and there is no schedule, there, there are no, s no speakers allow, uh, announced, so everybody who comes are the right people, so everybody joins. And I would also probably name it as, as, as my favorite, that, that everybody participates on equal rights and uh, well, work very easily, folks arrive, you, you have so-called market place where they propose stuff, you, you, you form the schedule for the day or the week, depends, depends on the event, uh, usually on the daily basis and, and off you go. And so you have no schedule and no speakers. Does that even work? <laughs> it works uh, absolutely fantastic, and uh, it, it even works even more interesting when when somebody comes in uh, like a new, fresh, some somebody who's not participated in a lot of conferences, somebody who is an expert in the field, mm -hmm. and they can exchange opinions freely, can learn from each other, and it's just it's great. Uh, I love it, and in this format, I mean, we've been very successful with JCrete. Mm -hmm. And at the, the event that started by Heinz Kaboots and Kirk and uh, Pepper Nine and uh, John Costaras, and mm -hmm. I got involved a couple of years ago as well, and I uh, just love it, love the event every year on, on the island of Crete. We're doing it, and uh, usually, what's also special about unconference is that it's it's it is in a relaxed atmosphere in some special place, like right. this time distillery, right. uh, island of Crete. Uh, some, there's some 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 people do it in some ski resorts, and uh, I mean, it's just it's also it's or in Japan and uh, and the and the special yeah. how they them on the onsen, onsen hot springs and the hot springs i mean w what not to like about the the experience and Absolutely. you remove the barrier between speaker and the attendee like if you take a normal conference or a huge conference like devox three and a half thousand people and probably 100 speakers there is us versus them uh, people people um, are afraid to approach speakers right. approach, uh, afraid to, to, to talk to them and if you're in an unconference everybody's the same so right. that, that removes lots of barrier and that's just that's also what I really like, yes. And one thing I, w I would add, so I, I totally agree, fully agree, um, is al also that as opposed as you may think first, but the relaxed atmosphere or that nice place where you go to is actually a boost in productivity, I would say. Because this is not just vacation, what you would assume, but the sessions we're doing, the brainstorming, the hacking, is so and so much more productive as you may think, even if it's just a few, very few hours a day, and then of course a few hours of doing activities, of relaxation, yep. of whatever. But these productive hours are so much more productive, you get so much more things done, and you get so much more inspiring ideas that, than you might th you wouldn't expect that, right? And this is what I personally found out, and this what I personally like about it is not just vacation and um, searching for some excuse to enjoy yourself, yeah. right? But really, being productive and getting something done. No, that that's true, and that's what uh, that happened in the past also with JCrete, where people 
people connect, the people who, who, who were not aware of each other or maybe remotely through internet right. these days and then they finally meet face to face and they start discussing some interesting topics and they continue throughout the conference and then they do carry over and something something big can, can emerge out right. of that. So yes, it is like a conference, it just happens to have a more relaxed format. I mm -hmm. mean, it's usually not recorded. Some Sometimes it is streamed part mm -hmm. of it. It depends on uh, on conference. There's right. some materials, but it's not like uh, from every session you get a slide deck posted or something like that, so you can c uh, uh, come back later. No, it's very important that it's a human interaction and, and it's also networking. To be honest, for for, for the participants, it's right. an amazing networking, and, and, and you get to know people that you would would not know otherwise, or you would be like attendee versus speaker, and you will not be part of the inner circle kind of. What I like that a lot of um, open source projects even have emerged right out of an unconference, out of that atmosphere, and this yeah. is I mean, the best example how productive or positive or that can be. Or, or 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 got done like 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 last year, jQuery. Uh, Dan North was working on JGo testing, mm -hmm. the, the testing library inspired by Go, uh, which was hacked by by a bunch of us just just mm -hmm. helping popping in. What are you doing? Ah, this is interesting. Yeah, right. Let's sit together. Let's brainstorm right. together. And you're like all of a sudden you're contributing to open source project without you even yeah. noticing even that. Knowing that. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, oh, you influenced this project. I know that's the thing. Or you, you hear about new stuff that, that somebody's doing that you are not aware of. Oh, this is very useful. I need it also in my work. And you know, you can now this is this is an amazing experience. And in general, for the down conference. Yes, I totally agree. So thanks, Dimitri, sh for sharing all your experiences. And you brought a lot of very good reasons to attend on conferences. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I can just totally encourage you to attend uh, J Spirit 2019. So <laughs> we will continue <laughs> this. Ah, awesome, it's, com it's yeah. coming back, yes. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Or attend any other Java on conference. So there are a lot of uh, on conferences emerging right now. And yeah, just try to attend one of these or even found your, <laughs> your own one. Yeah. And it's doable, <laughs> certainly. I would encourage people to try something uh, because it's new, it's different. Try something um, maybe in parallel to normal conferences, like mm -hmm. there are conferences. I think Jake Joker Conference in Russia, they have half a day or a day of unconference before or after a conference or during the conference, something like that. So a lot of conferences mm. or, or have a, 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 a like a space where the open spaces are going. Right. So lots of right. lots of diff already in. Um, um, big and established conferences start realizing that this is this is important a uh, part to incorporate and it, it, it's happening so if you even if you're not coming for a like four day event j just on a normal conference just participate in open mm -hmm. space see how it works and it's an amazing experience to try it awesome thank you very much for sharing all this thank for you for you, having me. you watching well thanks for watching bye, bye.